So now I've got to announce the winners of challenge number two um, for March, which was to make a 15 puzzle. I was a bit disappointed that I only got two entries considering how easy it is to make a 15 puzzle but anyway um, thank you uh, and yeah so in second place we have Ethan Trekker and I've got video here of his 15 puzzle so this is my 15 puzzle you can move all the pieces around and in the back uh, I've used foil because the cardboard didn't really work that well for the pieces moving. And yeah, you can scramble it. Yeah. Also, um, on the sides, I used like a slot to make it stand up. Okay, thanks, bye. And in first place, winning the £10 gift card, we have Jammy Akilla or on YouTube, Xig Z. I don't know how you pronounce that X I E sound. But anyway, uh, he made a quite a reasonable 15 puzzle, it seemed to work quite well. So, well done to him. Um, Yeah, I think um, I'll make these challenges a bit harder. I don't know. Yeah, I'm just need to make them fun, but I don't want to do simple things that anybody can just do easily. So stay tuned for next month's challenge, and I'll go through my own 15 puzzle and uh, yeah, how to make it. But yeah, just get the GE 15 puzzle if you want to good one. It's even magnetic as well. So I'd like to thank you for all the entries. I now bring out my own one. It's not actually that difficult to make. It's quite simple. I just printed off a sheet of template figures and I mean yeah you don't even need to do that and yeah just folded them up, put them in a box and yeah, it's not that complicated, but uh, quite an interesting puzzle. So, let's solve it. So yeah, and the nice thing is about this method is you can even hide stuff in here. If I can just get it open, I uh, might need pencil to try and pry this open. But yeah, you can even hide stuff in here, like get it out. Come on, out you come. Out you come, you wretched thing. You can even hide some chocolate in here. Or, alternatively, you can fit 
pound coin. I suspect you weren't expecting that.